let them motherfucking arms out. Let them back rolls out. The back rolls and the big arms is gonna be there regardless of whether or not you cover them up and you were sweating underneath that damn sweater during the summertime or not. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Simone Nicole here. Back at it again with yet another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing you know what I'm saying? Like a summer essentials kind of a video. First of all, thank you guys so much for the love on my collective haul that I posted a couple weeks back. I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed that video because fashion is my first love and I love creating videos like this. This video idea actually came from my beautiful, wonderful subscriber, Alexa. She commented and basically was like, hey, you know how like, makeup girlies will do like a beginner's makeup kit kind of a deal like can you do the same thing but like for beginners in fashion and then maybe even like a summer fall like series kind of thing i said and that's why I put y'all because y'all be turning them big brains on multiple brain cells rubbing together actually so when i saw that comment i said absolutely i can absolutely do that for you that is what we're going to be doing today i'm going to be breaking down just some outfit basics that i think that everyone should have in their summer wardrobe and i believe everything in this video is affordable me acting like i just like go on shopping sprees at like Belzega. um i don't so let's just assume that everything in this haul is affordable so the first thing i want to talk about is the fact that this is my opinion on what your summer essential should be but i will say that this is tailored to me and things that i know that complement me and that's going to be my first piece of advice for you guys you guys need to figure out something or some things that you really like on yourself and that you really like about yourself. One of the things that I really love about myself is my body, period. I love my body. I love the way that I am shaped. It has taken me a while to get comfortable with showing that online especially and in life because you know men are sicko perverts but i've gotten to a place where i am comfortable showing it and understand better how to dress for my body type and in addition to that i like color on me and it also took me a while to get there i didn't used to really wear a lot of color even in the summertime and you know the summertime is for the colors it's for the girls that want to have fun in the colors this is an existential crisis but it's going to play into today's sponsor because today's video is sponsored period but i did want to talk about it because color is going to be a big part of this video and i actually got this comment that i want to share just because it touched my heart for my subscriber destiny i literally cried like a baby reading this and basically she was talking about how she struggled with loving herself and self-worth and caring about the way that she looks and after being on my channel for a while like she's really walking into that and like caring about the way that she looks and wearing color and one of the things she mentioned is because she's dark skin she just has struggled with self-confidence and that and that is what hit me hit me here i didn't used to wear color almost ever and now as an adult i understand it's because i didn't want to stand out and i didn't want to draw too much attention to myself and i would wear a lot of colors that wash me out my mom will always say that like you never wear colors that accentuate your skin tone and i couldn't put words to it but as a kid i'm like girl i don't want to accentuate it i want to hide it and i don't feel that way anymore the way that i've been able to unpack that over the years is actually therapy and i talk about therapy a lot in my videos speaking of therapy i'm so so proud to say that today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Can you believe that this girl is sponsored by BetterHelp? I can't, I can't. Sending it over to sponsorship, Simone. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. This partnership is so special to me. One, because thank you, BetterHelp. I'm, I just am so passionate about mental health being the best possible person that you can be. And so when BetterHelp reached out to me to sponsor this video, I said, um, it, absolutely, get on the channel now. If you do not know who BetterHelp is, they are the world's largest therapy service and it is done 100% online. BetterHelp gives you access to over 30,000 licensed therapists specializing in a wide range of whatever issues you might be suffering with. I went through the BetterHelp website website to take the test to get assigned to a therapist and it was a very very comprehensive questionnaire like they were asking me all about my mental health history where I'm at right now what type of therapist do I want because for me personally it's imperative for me to have a black woman as my therapist and better help 
is easily able to do that for you no matter what specialty you would like your therapist to specialize in. They're able to get you matched super quickly with the therapist and if that therapist doesn't really tickle your fancy, don't worry, you are able to switch out to another therapist because therapy is really like dating. I was in therapy for two years and in the previous clip I was talking about how that comment left by Destiny really resonated with me because she was talking about how I'm just so confident she doesn't understand how when she's finally starting to build towards that and I actually get that comment pretty often that I'm just so confident and they wish that they were as confident as me but that did not happen overnight. I had a really rough childhood with bullying because of the way that I look because I'm dark skinned and I didn't realize how many areas of my life that that bullying had its tentacles wrapped around until I unpacked all of that in two years of therapy and it was the best thing I ever did. I feel so much more free. I feel more myself than I have ever been. And I learned about so many unhealthy color mechanisms. Like the list goes on and on and on. And I'm so excited to get back into therapy with a better help therapist. So if you would like to start your therapy journey, then you can do so by pressing the link down below in the description box. That link is betterhelp slash Simone Nicole that's me you would just have to go through the questionnaire like we talked about previously and BetterHelp will match you with the best therapist for you that is within their network and you can talk to that therapist however you feel comfortable whether it's talk it's text it's video chat like whatever you are comfortable with either way it goes you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live therapy sessions whenever it's convenient to you I just love everything about this service it's just like regular therapy except for you get to do it in your own home which provides you so much comfortability and it really helps you to tiptoe into the therapy game why do I say therapy game it helps you tiptoe into your therapy journey by getting matched with a quality therapist that is right for you and custom picked for you with flexibility in the scheduling and if you need help with how much therapy costs because therapy can get pretty expensive. BetterHelp already starts at a pretty affordable price, but if you do need financial aid, then there are resources on their website for you to apply to such. If you would like to get 10% off your first month of therapy with BetterHelp, then like I said before, check out the link in my description box, BetterHelp slash Simone Nicole for 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. And thank you, thank you, thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into talking about the fashion for the summer girls. Welcome back from Sponsorship Simone. I hope that you miss me. Live Simone, but not Live Simone because it's live for me, but not live for you. Anyways, let's start by talking about one of my favorite outfits that I think flatters a lot of different body shapes and that is corsets and baggy pants. I love this silhouette because exactly what I just said, it plays with proportions. So the corset is gonna really bring you in on the top and the baggy pants, one, are comfortable and they give you a little bit more dimension. It's a little more interesting to the eye. I'm not a really big fan of super duper tight on the top and the bottom. I feel like I kind of got to pick one sometimes. So this outfit incorporates the idea of a corset and then jeans. I will be rolling videos for you guys to see a bit more um, details of examples of outfits that I'm referring to. And I'll also be holding some up there on my clothing rack. Also speaking of, you guys gotta let me know, do you like this setup in my office more or do you like it more when I'm out in my living room in front of my big mirror? I wanted to switch it up, get you guys' opinion, but just let me know. Anyways, a couple of things to note about this outfit. While I do love denim on denim, I just ordered this, literally just took it out of the packaging. It is a corset from Amazon. It's not a corset, it's a top. I mean, it strings up in the back, but there's no boning to it at all, like nothing. And it's actually pretty big. So this isn't the greatest example of what a corset would fit like on you, but I do have one that's way more structured, like with boning. You guys have seen me in this a million and one times. If you watch any of my short form videos, whether it be YouTube shorts or TikTok, you have seen this corset top. But I will also be showing you guys this little corset top. It has a couple pieces of boning, but the rest of it is not as sturdy, but it is still a really cute piece. I wish I could show you guys another one, but the order got delayed and it didn't get here in time. When you're able to really pull that waist in and Put them titties up in the air towards your chin. Oh, baby, ain't nothing like it. And then for the bottoms, I like to go with anything that is not like, ex I don't love extremely tight pants anymore unless I'm wearing leggings. It's something I'm discovering. I think that everyone should have the perfect pair of jeans. You should have a pair of jeans that you love, you look good in no matter what. These are mine. These are my Abercrombie Curve Love jeans. I've worn these also a million and one times. I got them tailored so that they 
fit really well on me and I absolutely love them. Don't love this outfit today just because the top doesn't fit very well. I'm going to return this top. But yeah, I love a denim on denim. I think that everyone should do a denim on denim moment at some point in their lives, whether it's for brunch, whether it's going out to the bars, who cares? Denim on denim is an essential to me. I will dress up a denim on denim by either putting a splash of color with it. So I would maybe wear like an orange bag like this or pair it with a pair of statement heels. Or you could go for like a more traditional look and wear a nude, a black pump, something like that. But I love a pump and we'll get to accessories later on in the video. I also really like monochromatic moments. So for one of the outfits, I know I'm gonna show you guys a green on green moment with these parachute pants and this corset. So I talked about jeans, but I do want to talk about parachute pants. I love a good parachute pant. I don't know, I've seen it on different body types and I've seen it work really, really well. Because of the elastic at the top, you can really cinch it in to accentuate your waist. And it does have that baggy feel, so you look casual. It's like a very sporty, casual, but like sexy and chic kind of look that you get when you do the parachute pants, and especially when you go tight on top, or like a pair of cart. Girl, don't get me started on cargos. I have plenty of pairs of cargos. I just got these in a recent Amazon haul, which I have posted on my short form platforms. If you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure that you do. And of course, watch my YouTube shorts, cause you're already here, watch my YouTube shorts. But I love, love, love a good cargo pant. This is a date. This is going out to the bars. You can dress cargo pants up, you can dress them down. They're a very, very flexible piece. And that is another tip I'll give you guys. Stop buying things that are too specific. So dresses that are super duper trendy styles and shoes that are particular patterns, like stay away from patterns as much as you can because most patterns are a part of a trend. I don't care for polka dots. I don't care for stripes because it's easy to look not that flattering in stripes. Go for classics in classic colors. I have more colors that we're gonna talk about when we get to the dresses, but that's specifically for the summertime. Not only do I like monochromatic, but if you don't have the ability to go monochromatic and you are a girl, because a lot of the comments that I get are like, all I have is black in my closet. Okay, friend, that's okay. So we have this other outfit that's a parachute pant along with this casual t-shirt. And I like to wear my t-shirts a little tucked because I am short, I have a short torso as well. So I always like to tuck my t-shirts in some way so that I'm not drowning in a t-shirt but i love an oversized t-shirt moment isn't this the cutest freaking t-shirt ever with these parachute pants and the orange heels that i showed you guys earlier see how it's an all black outfit but all of a sudden it was just elevated and also contrary to what you would think i don't think i would wear this with the orange bag that would start to teeter a little too matchy matchy and this could lean halloween very very quick and we don't want that i would say play with color if you find yourself wearing black all the time try to incorporate color where you can even if it's in your nails you know miss girl has red nails right now if it's in a bag if it's in shoes whatever just try to drip in a little bit of color because it'll really add contrast and it'll pizzazz an outfit up that wasn't really pizzazzed before now let's talk dresses i i'm a sucker for a good dress i didn't want to talk about dresses that we all have like we're all gonna have a sundress of course like that is an essential and also another essential if you don't have it a satin dress girlfriends girlfriends I have so many satin dresses, it's not even okay. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. I wear mine with tennis shoes, I wear some with heels, I wear some with slides, I wear some with sandals. Like they are just such a versatile piece to have in your closet and I have them in varying lengths. It's just like the best thing ever, a satin dress. So like if you don't have one or two or three, get them because they're also pretty affordable. You can find them pretty affordably. But the real stars of the show, if you guys do not have these dresses with the drop back already, you need them. And I know that you've seen them on socials and they are worth the hype. You need them, okay? I wore this on my birthday. I wore this in the hall. And let me tell you something. I can already hear y'all talking about some Simone, I can't wear that because I don't like the way that my back looks. I don't like the way that my arm looks. You know what? I just heard this TikTok and I'm about to play it. I'm about to play the audio for y'all right now. Wear your big arms out this summer. They big in the blazer, they big out the blazer. 
the jacket ain't doing nothing but making your armpit smell like heat stroke. You better release them things and go and grip what guy got for you. Let them motherfucking arms out. Let them back rolls out. The back rolls and the big arms is gonna be there regardless of whether or not you cover them up and you were sweating underneath that damn sweater during the summertime or not. So take them arms out. Take them back rolls out. Who gonna stop you? If people are looking at you away for having the confidence to, I don't know, live in your skin, it says a lot more about them than it does about you, friend. That is a sexy dress. I've seen it on a few different body types and it's just hard for it to not look so good. It's just such a sexy freaking dress. And again, I wanna emphasize that this is stuff that goes off my body type, right? You need to pick out something that you like about yourself. There has to be one thing. It has to be the, them tig old bitties, them small little ninnies. Maybe you get your nipples pierced and you just wanna show them bitches off. Maybe it's your knees. You better wear a fucking mini skirt every single day, bitch. You have to do what you have to do to figure out what you like about yourself, what you like yourself in, how you like yourself to look, find a body part that you like, I don't give a fuck with your elbow. Then find some arm warmers and cut the elbow out i don't know but you need to find that you need to accentuate that because when you feel good you can sell any outfit period so again i want to emphasize this dress i want you to buy it and i want you to tag me i'm gonna have these two linked in my description box and if you don't want to post it just yet then dm it to me i want to see it i want to see the backs i want to see the titties i want to see the ass i want to see the hips i want to see the back rolls i want to see the big arms Show it to me, please. Thank you. Next. Okay, let's talk an obvious one. And that is gonna be matching sets. So I have a couple of them here and my matching sets will kind of like change according to, of course, the season. These ones are a lot brighter and they show a lot more skin because it's the summertime so it's hot. Uh, but I wear matching sets all year round. Highly, highly recommend ones that are colorful because why not? It's the summertime. Play around with color, try new things. I love that pink set. That one I think would look really good on tall girls or girls with a longer torso because I can get kind of swallowed up in that one and it doesn't do the most for my body shape, but I love it. It's such a beautiful color. I love it on my skin and that's why I wear it so often. Y'all saw the chartreuse set in my Fashion Nova haul. So y'all saw that that was doing numbers, okay? I also wanna talk about matching sets that are a little bit more casual. I'm thinking of a matching set that I'm gonna show you guys by Bad Society and it's striped and y'all like, you just said that stripes don't look good. Baby, but that look good. You like tie it up real tight and then put some body oil on and you're just like glistening. Your titties are like this. Like that excites me to think that you guys could be walking out around like that. So matching sets are gonna be always the way to go in such an easy way to look really cute really easily in the summertime, but also anytime. Now I wanna talk about more casual things. Let's talk about your errand running, really relaxed, like I'm just trying to look cute. So in situations like that, accessories are going to be your best friend and you're going to find things about the outfit that makes it stand out, that makes it cute, okay? Everyone wears the whole like biker shorts and t-shirts, but you can elevate a biker short and a t-shirt, right? So in one of the outfits that I'm showing you guys, it is a basic pair of biker shorts, but I took this shirt, I literally looked up a tutorial on TikTok how to do it right before I went out on a date and I I sat and I cut the t-shirt up and it is one of my go-to looks. I love, love, love that t-shirt and I love that look. It's very easy. And um, another thing that's really easy is tennis shoes and socks. I love a tennis shoe and sock moment, especially when you're between pedicures, which I am right now. So y'all are not gonna see these toes in this video because it's not okay. So all y'all gonna see is socks. So sorry about it. So I love that vibe. But then if you don't wanna do the t-shirt cut up thing, just showing a little bit more skin, then you can do a regular bag t-shirt like I said before with my proportions I can get a little swallowed up in a baggy t-shirt but if you're a tall girl that would be really good for you to just wear a baggy t-shirt with some biker shorts but again what type of t-shirt are you wearing are you just wearing a baggy white t-shirt a baggy black t-shirt that's fine but like I showed you guys earlier with the t-shirt that has the happy smiley face on it that's orange that elevates it just a little bit so that's what you always want to look out for when you're getting your essentials just give yourself a little bit extra another matching set that i like to do is a biker short and then something cropped and i do that for me again because i have a short torso and i know what looks good on me and what compliments me so i love to have a moment like that and then there are some pieces that my 
panties actually look substantial in. Like the zip up that I'm showing you guys, such a cute staple piece. I think I got that randomly in the mall, but I'm gonna try to find something equivalent for you guys. Love, 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 that's such a go-to for me. Another basic that I really love is a good old romper or a good old bodysuit. One that really snatches you in. I have a few. I was also supposed to have another, but that package got delayed as well. Shout out Amazon, shout out Jeff Bezos. I love a good one piece. It is easy, it is quick, it is simple. You can do slides and socks, you can do regular slides, you can do sandals, you can do a crossbody bag, you can do a shrong over it. With the outfit that I'm showing you guys, I tied my sweatshirt across my body and then just paired it like with a little cute bag and then did my pandas, some socks, and that's a really cute moment. It is all black, which I know you bitches love. <laughs> so it is a little more like, oh, she's shy, but also like, Look at the body, look at the style. And then you can put on a pair of cute sunnies, like very cute, very put together instead of just wearing your basic biker short and t-shirt or some leggings and like this t-shirt that you slept in. It doesn't take much more effort, but it makes you look so good so put together. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is accessories. I got these two in my Fashion Nova haul that you guys saw, just to add a splash of color in an outfit where I feel it kinda needs it, or maybe to do a monochromatic moment if I'm feeling extra Tisha, I'll add these on if I'm wearing like all green, all orange, but that takes a level of skill <laughs> to wear the exact same color over and over and over again in the same outfit. Sometimes I will get in that mood, you know what I'm saying? But you know, let's let's talk about that in like a month or two. Let's tackle that in the fall when you when you get some experience under your belt, right? I love love this bag because when it's white it gets very summer and then it also has a silver hardware this was gifted to me this is a tori birch bag i love her love her life but i would say just thinking about not my specific items i think a black bag with gold hardware a black bag with silver hardware i didn't think i would get as much use out of that white bag but i'm almost i'm almost gonna say white bag friend white bag with whatever hardware finish that you wear more and then a pop of color bag but a color that is supported by your current closet let me explain. My pops of color, I'm starting to grow them a lot more because I start out with a lot of neutrals. I plan on doing a video just talking about capsule closet basics and what exactly it means to have a capsule closet. But because I had so many neutral pieces already, I looked at my closet and I said, okay, what color do I really like? I wanna wear more of, could be a statement and I would like to incorporate more. And for me, that was pink and orange because I'm like, I know I can wear those colors and I can wear them confidently. I'm not gonna get a pop of yellow. I am not a sunshine yellow girl, so I'm generally not gonna get sunshine yellow things. But if that's your vibe, then get that. But don't go out of your way to get a pop of color that does not make sense for your closet. Which brings me to shoes. Wait, before I get to shoes, I actually wanna talk about hats, oddly enough. I got just this little baseball cap. I think that she's super duper cute. I don't wanna put it all the way down on my head because I'm wearing makeup. It reminds me of the video of Lori Harvey where she was just wearing like this like baggy denim and these shorts and her legs is out. And she had on these heels. She had on a little dad cap. I said, I want to cut my hair into a bob and wear a dad cap like Lori Harvey. And I am. Y'all gonna see me with the bob this summer and with that hat on. And I'm gonna be living my Lori Harvey fantasy, okay? And you should too. I just feel like any hat that's like nice and simple and cute, like just tossing that on. You could even get away with like dressing that up like Lori did. Or of course you could throw it on, dress it down, wear it during the day. Now that my one little hat is over, I want to talk about shoes. Let's start off with tennis shoes, actually. So I have two pairs of of shoes. One is the Sage Low Forces. They have this platform on the bottom of them and I got these because I'm short. I also get that question a lot, how tall am I? I'm 5'2". So I like to get a little bit of height wherever I can. White Air Force Ones go with literally everything. You guys have seen me try them on with multiple different outfits in this very video. Highly recommend getting you a pair of Air Forces if you don't already have ones. And then a pair of Pandas. And I know that these are so played out and everyone has them, but it's for a reason. They're extremely versatile and you can build upon them, right? So those are the two tennis shoes that I would definitely say would be good. And then for heels, let's start with the practical heels first and that is going to be low heeled mules or sandals or whatever you wanna call these. I 
love a shoe like this because one the heel is low so that means that i can walk in them for a long time i need to actually invest in a really good pair like i really do feel like i might like the bottega ones because they say after you break them in like they're just a really good shoe to have i got these from sheen because they're so cheap they hurt when they shouldn't because this material is so thin the thong is thin same thing with these the thong bothers me after a really long time i used to be able to walk in these no problem but i think i just wore the soles in a little bit too much because i've had these for such a long time but this type of shoe is such a staple square toe has been in for a few years now so i don't think that it's going anywhere like anytime extremely soon so i think that this is safe to invest in and that like sling back easy effortless short like something that you can wear all night for long periods of time because we do not take our shoes off in public do you hear me we don't take our shoes off and walk barefoot say it with me I hope you just said it and that you believe it because we're not doing that, okay? Those are the basics that I would say, especially in those colors. Love a nude, love a black. And then last but not least, we're gonna talk about just a pop of color. I literally just got these. They are so comfortable, so stinking cute. They were really cheap, I think like 15 bucks. I got them for on Fashion Nova because I knew that for a color like this, I didn't want to pay a ton of money because I'm not going to wear it as often. So yeah, I love these. Um, I hope that you guys liked how I styled them throughout the video. Pop of color heels like this can be more versatile than you would think, but we have, that's such a big mistake that I see a lot of people doing when you're just entering into fashion is that you'll see fashion girlies posting wearing stuff and you'll just go out and buy the exact same things, failing to understand that's not how you build a sustainable closet. Sustainable closets are built off of basics and then you build from there. So that was my goal with this video, to give you guys categories that you guys can operate under <laughs> that'll get you kind of covered for everything. You know, you got dressy, you got the casual, you got a little bit of stuff you can wear to the airport, on vacation, to the grocery store, on a date with your partner, you know what I'm saying? That's what your closet should do. And your closet should also be one where you feel good looking into it remember to buy your clothes because they fit you not because you are trying to fit into them remember that your clothes are self-expression it's how you show yourself to the world and clothes are fun you guys like fashion is fun and if you're not having fun with your clothes if you're not scared if you don't take a risk every once in a while like why not why not just do it put the outfit on buy the dress buy the heel, wear the green, wear the blue, who's gonna stop you? Because if they stop you, they're a hater and they're a fan and congratulations. You got a fan on your hand. That's all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know what you would like to see next down below. And if I gave you any outfit ideas, make sure you drop those down below as well. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs> I'm delusional. I'm so tired at this point. <laughs>